Yeah. How gorgeous that is. Hi there. This is my purple potato that I planted just a couple months ago with my two little girls. The plant already grew vigorously and now it's dying back. Ideally, I'd wait another couple weeks or who knows how long, a little longer, so that it completely dies back. But I really want some roasted red potatoes with dinner tonight, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to harvest our purple potatoes a little bit early and probably roast them up with some herbs from the garden. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I really like growing potatoes in buckets. That way you can just pick it up and dump it and there's no potatoes hiding that will be a straggler for the following year. So here, let me give you a close up. All right, here's a close-up of the purple potatoes. They are dying back. You can see yellow leaves. You can see a whole bald patch here where this used to be a big mound of really lush green leaves. It used to be a big circular, um, like a big sphere of green leaves. And now they're all toppled over and dying back. So let's, let's take them out. First thing I'm gonna do is pull the plants. This one's cool. You can see the, this is the seed potato that we planted maybe three months ago. And that sprouted and then more potatoes hopefully grew off of that. That broke off, that I'd have to go find that. That goes to the compost. Alright, lots of little ones. Since I just damaged that one, let's cut it open and check out the color. Oh yeah, how gorgeous that is. Really cool. It smells like it smells like the earth. It smells like potato. <laughs> potato. these beautiful purple potatoes. Not a ton, but more than enough for dinner for me and my family tonight. Gonna roast it with some herbs I'm gonna pick back here too. I'm gonna take a few sprigs from my oregano. It smells great. As long as we're gonna do a dish from the backyard, I may as well harvest some onions in the next bed over, so I'll meet you there. These onions were the first I'd ever transplanted as a set from a little baby bulb. Um, so it's new to me. They're not really forming up to become big, huge heads. So it's more of a green onion type of a thing here. So that's fine. That's fine, right? And I need this space for corn pretty soon for the summer, so I'm going to start harvesting some of this stuff. Ooh, they smell good. Oh yeah, green onion. As long as we're at it, let's go pull an early head of garlic too. I have two types of garlic growing this year. This is my soft neck right next to where I harvested potatoes. And I also have hard neck garlic growing off to my left, your right. So I'm just gonna look through and... Oh, these aren't big enough. So instead of a big bulb, because I harvested this garlic too early, this is Enchilium Red. You can see some of the red in there. It's a soft neck garlic. It's more of a garlicky leek at this point. But I'm still going to chop it up and eat it with our potatoes. It's going to be delicious. Alright, here's my potatoes plus the other ingredients for roasting of about half the potatoes. First step, I'm going to wash them really thoroughly slice them. Look how pretty they are in the baking pan. I'm going to add the oregano. 
chopped green onion, chopped green garlic, EVOO, salt and pepper, then roast it at 400 degrees for 20 or 30 minutes till it's fork tender. I hope you love it. Thanks for watching.